how to create custom Google search engine for you to use on your own website. Google custom search engine looks like this. So in this video session, I'm going to show you how you can include one for your own website and create one. All you need to do is go to this URL or you can simply search Google with these terms. Then you'll be taken to custom search interface. Here, all you have to do is press on new search engine and then give the details for your website. Meaning, if you want your custom search engine to search your website only, then you specify that accordingly. You need to have asterisk, then dot, and your website domain name. But what if you have another website that you want your search engine to search as well? Well, you can do that using the same principle. Make sense? So you have that option. Or you can say, you know what? I want that search engine to only search certain parts on my website. If that's the case, you need to follow a different pattern here. Language settings, that's pretty easy. Let's choose English. You can name your custom search engine anything you want. Advanced options allow you to specify certain item, item types that you want that search engine to search. As you can see, up to 10 schema.org vocabulary. That's perhaps beyond the scope of this video tutorial, but keep in mind you have that option. And before you create your custom search engine, it is, it's actually a must that you read the terms of service. All you then have to do is press on create. And once you do that, you will have your custom search engine. I've already created one, so I'm going to walk you through how you can now put it on your website. You can give further details, description, include some keywords, totally up to you. You can leave them blank, it's up to you. All you need to do is get code, press on this, and now all you have to do is copy that code and place it wherever you want that search engine to appear. In this example, I'm using a WordPress site, so I placed it on the sidebar, but I can put it anywhere that I want. So, you can do the same thing. But you have a different code here. As in, you have different option here. You can press on that as well. And copy that code as well. It just gives you more options later on if you want to uh, add different functionality to it. You can press on see HTML example to get an idea as to how you need to put that on your website. So at this stage, I'm using my local computer, but you can still follow the process through your web hosting as well. All you need to do is locate the part where you want your search engine to show. So on a WordPress site, we can place it in searchform.php, but what if you have a static HTML5 site? If that's the case, that's where the search engine will appear. So all you have to do is select where you want the search engine to show and place it accordingly. Place that code that you grabbed from here accordingly, okay? You also have access to CSS source file. You can press on this and this is the style sheet that you, gives you the ability to modify it and customize the style as well. So you can copy that. And for static HTML5 site, you simply paste that code within style element. Okay. 
as you can see it has to be placed in there because now you can further customize the colors size everything see? so it has to be in there that CSS and you save it and now you simply upload that file yeah if it's WordPress site then you do the same thing place that CSS in the head portion the header.php file should do the trick but you can place it in style.css as well so now we know how to create the search custom search and let's walk through what else you can do with it. and let me actually show you while you're here let's say we search for this as you can see that's the search box because i have the css code i can further modify all these settings as you can see it's out of place here yeah if i hit f12 i can see that i need to yes i need to modify this here this box here Can copy that class element and yes, it's in there. Yes, it's give ID equals. it was a class element let me close now save and upload this and refresh my site and that should be in its place properly let me search again as you can see that's why you need to get the custom CSS because then you can modify it according to your words now while here let me show you something else let's say I want my search engine custom search engine to search the entire website as you can see I have the look and feel I can change it and preview it here I can have search features can um, as you can see at promotion enable promotions you can see how people interacted with your search engine if you want the search engine for your business then you need to follow a different approach and so on but it is very easy so let's go back to the setup because now the public URL let me go to public URL so this is the search engine right so basically you're using this on your own website you can disable it if you want no problems you can have image search capability speech input capability you can change the language settings press on advanced go into translation encoding all this stuff you can monetize it you need google adsense account to be able to do that you can have different admins indexing and so on advanced options gives you further capabilities you need to read through them because these are very advanced so let's go to the basics and let's take a look at this option here because I think you'll find this interesting. Here you have the ability to let that custom search engine to search the entire web but emphasize the pages from your website. Let's select that and let's hit update and let's go back to our search engine and let's search for 
advanced search query. Let's search for this term. Look what happens now. As you can see. But that search engine now has emphasized the pages from my website, but also included search results coming from the entire web. So you have that option because you have to think about the reasons why you want your custom search engine. At the end of the day, your focus should be to improve user experience of your visitors. Particularly if you have a large website, you want them to find the answers quickly from your website. But what if they search for search terms that your website did not cater for? If that's the case, then you select this option, but you have the other option as well. So it's totally up to you. I just wanted to demonstrate two different options for you. You can press on advanced. You can add certain sites to exclude, and you can do a lot of stuff with this custom search engine. Now, at the end of the day, you now know how easy it is to include a custom Google search engine that works perfectly on your own website. I thank you very much for learning with me. If you benefited from this video session, please share it, give me a like, and also subscribe to Rank Ya YouTube channel. And I'll talk with you in the next video session.